hello everybody welcome back to a new video in this video i will be doing a side by side comparison of ceramic slam and turtle wax ceramic spray coating let's get straight into it all right so first i start off with applying the lithium ceramic slam to only half of this car and then on the other half of the car i'm applying turtle wax spray coating and I applied two sprays of the ceramic slam into this applicator pad and just started working it in in a cross-hatch pattern and it was pretty easy to put on, pretty easy to work with. Uh, there was no smell. If you want to know a little bit more about the ceramic slam, uh, click in the card up above to see my full review on it. Okay, I'm coming back to wipe it off with my towel after letting it sit for a few minutes. We just buff it off and it was very easy to wipe off. It left very to little no streaks at first, and I say at first because first it, it was streak free and then a little bit of hazing came back afterwards. And I contacted Lithium Support and they told me that's pretty normal and I can easily take care of that with just spraying a little bit of water into my uh, microfiber and wiping it down once again. And you can do that right, off, right after the wipe off and that's not gonna affect any of the durability and it will just help it not be all hazy. Also, I wanted to add that Lithium makes some really, really nice bottles. Their bottles are extremely cool. And I know that's not a big, big thing for the product itself. What really matters is what's inside. But for me, I like the aesthetics of the bottle. Very, very nice. So shout out to Lithium for making great bottles. Also, a little bit of product goes a very, very long way. You really don't need much. All right, as I show you guys the first person view, um, I wanted to add that at the ceramic slam, it took a little bit longer to apply to the whole car because you had to come back and buff it off, which took a bit longer than the turtle wax product. I did want to add that the ceramic slam had a very nice long working time. It was quite warm out, not too hot though, but it never was hard to wipe it off. Hopefully you guys can see this. You see all the swirls and scratches right here? There's still definitely swirls and scratches here. It just filled it in a tiny bit more. Here I show you guys the hydrophobic properties and water behavior of the ceramic slam. Look how impressive those beads are. That is pretty cool. Just like a real ceramic coating. Now it's time to move on to the Turtle Wax spray coating. Here it is. We're going to apply it side by side, as I said in the beginning of the video, and we're going to really do a real world durability test on this. Let's see if it lasts the full 12 months as it claims on the bottle. On the Turtle Wax ceramic spray coating, as I was applying it, I noticed you need very, very little. One to two sprays per panel is more than enough. Here I sprayed two little spritzes of the product and worked it in with my microfiber towel. Also, the smell is just amazing. I can't really pin the smell. I think it's apple or mango, something like that. You guys gotta let me know down below if you ever tried this. Definitely, the slickness it left behind was amazing. Immediate slickness, that's one observation I noticed. Immediate slickness opposed to uh, Ceramic Slam, where it did leave amazing slickness, but after the full cure. All right, here you can see me using a spray bottle with water, and I am spritzing the panel because I experienced just a little bit of streaking from using the product. But Turtle Wax actually says water is completely fine with the curing process. It will not affect it at all. Um, you can use water like this on a damp towel or spraying it how I just did, and that will take care of any streaks. Same with the lithium. All right, so here I just did one large spray onto the panel. That is just enough to cover this whole entire door. And I worked it in, and the difference between the lithium and the turtle wax so far that I've noticed is that the turtle wax is a more spray and wipe type of formula, unlike lithium ceramic slam where you have to like let it cure for five minutes-ish, and then you can wipe it off. This is just instant gloss, instant slickness, boom, you're done. I have no idea how the durability is going to look of this, 
but we're going to find out together. As I was working with both of these products, they're kind of dummy proof. You can't really screw this up. It's pretty easy to do. This is perfect for a do-it-yourselfer or a, a pro. Anyone could do this, even my grandpa. Also, it's worth mentioning that you can use both of these products on all parts of the exterior, your wheels, your glass, obviously your paint, your, your trim, the plastic moldings, like around the mirror. You can use it on anything, even the metal chrome. It's really that simple. You just spray, wipe, and flip the towel to a dry section or grab a different dry towel and just buff off any remaining streaks. And if there's some streaks that still persist, you can use a little bit of water. It gets the job done. Also, it's worth mentioning that the Turtle Wax spray coating is allowed to be used in direct sunlight. The Lithium Ceramic Slam is not allowed to be used in direct sunlight according to the bottle, but it's going to be okay if you use it in direct sunlight. Just work in a small area and wipe off quicker than usual. The flash time will be a little bit quicker in heat. Alright, now as I've let this cure for more than 24 hours, probably like 36 hours, I am showing you guys the water behavior test comparison of both turtle wax and lithium, with lithium on my right and turtle wax on this side, the left. Look at that. That's some bird poop. It goes off so, so easily with the turtle wax. Yes, I let this cure inside the garage. There's a little bit of residue from the bird poop. Don't worry, it's not etched quite yet. I'll just wash this car later on today. Alright, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Um, it was very, very fun working with both of these products. Um, both Lithium and Turtle Wax, awesome products. Only time will tell which one's more durable. Let me know down below, guys, which one you think is going to win. Also, shout out to all of my new subscribers and my past subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys keep on inspiring me to make more and more videos. Thank you all. Like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.